And if you've got to pick them up from school, be sure to stay posted on conditions because we could have some strong thunderstorms by 3, 4 o'clock uh, out of the system that's moving through Arkansas right now as well as Oklahoma. Uh, that's going to be swinging through the southeast, bringing that threat for severe weather through the day. And you can see we've got some snow. In fact, there have been blizzard conditions for parts of Iowa today. This is a powerful storm. Uh, but right now, we are all clear and should stay that way for the next several hours, but next 24 hours. Not so much. That's when things will start to go downhill eventually. Tonight, 34 degrees. Tomorrow, we have scattered showers and thunderstorms developing the second half of the day. And notice temperatures here. 40s in the mountains, low to mid 50s around the 85 corridor, and then you get close to 60 farther to the south. This, the, where you see the green color especially, is where we're going to have the best chance of storms. So here's future track hour by hour as we head into Friday morning. It's nice and dry for that morning commute. Uh, and getting the kids to school should not be a problem. Now we could have a wintry mix briefly in the mountains as some of this rain and uh, sleet moves in, but the, it'll be all rain for the upstate. In fact, we'll have severe weather concerns farther to the south. 3 p.m. That's when we start to warm up south of 85. So a few of these storms could pack a punch, damaging wind and tornadoes are possible. Now we have the final round around 6 p.m. This is with the front and this could pack severe weather as well. So we're going to have a fairly prolonged period from early afternoon to early evening. We need to be on guard for those strong storms, but then all of this is going to start to clear out. Now, what's the situation here when it comes to where we're going to see the worst of the weather? Well, storm fuel is not high, but we're looking at just enough to where we could see the storm fuel and wind energy come together and create some pretty strong thunderstorms. And it's where you're seeing this blue and green color and that's south of 85. That's where it's going to warm up enough energy for those storms to develop. Um, so again, that's why we have the greatest risk for storms around the 85 corridor and south. That's mainly from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. We're also going to have some gusty winds as we go into the overnight. You can see that uh, we're going to keep it even Friday night to Saturday morning, gusting to 25 to 30 miles per hour. Now, quick look at our next big thing. Uh, we do, of course, have our storms tomorrow, chilly air this weekend, but early next week, an Arctic blast. We're going to be dealing with some snow in the mountains, maybe a few showers in the upstate out of this, but the coldest air of the season so far is going to be settling on in toward middle of next week. So let me show that to you here. First, we start with our first alert weather day, 50s with those afternoon storms, sunny and chilly this weekend. Nothing too crazy though, but look what happens here. A front passes through on Tuesday. We drop to 19 for an overnight low, and that's conservative. I may actually drop that a little more given some of the newest data that is coming in. Wednesday into Thursday, high of only 40 toward middle of next week. And the mountains down to 15 on Tuesday night, and that's after a few snow showers fall during the day on Tuesday. Now, for all this changing weather, download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app, scan the code, get the app, and that way you'll know exactly what's coming. And of course, when we know, you'll know and as the system evolve as these systems evolve we will send you updates and let you know how it's all looking